I'm going to talk about the Law of Fives in this video. The Law of Fives is one of the central ideas of Discordianism, in the sense that it underlays a lot of the other central ideas of Discordianism, such as the grids of reality, Starbucks pebbles, and the 23 enigma. Simply stated, the Law of Fives says, Simple enough, right? There is a caveat to the law, however. In the collected Illuminatus Trilogy by Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson, on page 742 it is stated that this relationship can always be demonstrated given enough ingenuity on the part of the demonstrator. But where was I? Oh yes, my point. I was telling someone I knew about the Law of Fives earlier today. Let's call him Shithead for simplicity's sake. I explained the whole concept, like in the little film we ran, Shithead waved it away with a, oh yeah, yeah, it's just blue car syndrome. For those who don't know, blue car syndrome is the phenomena surrounding buying a blue car and then suddenly noticing all the other blue cars on the road. But hold up. What's this just shit? It's just blue car syndrome. It's just the law of fives. To me, the word just implies that the entire concept is frivolous, pointless to even discuss. But to me, exactly the opposite is true. The Law of Fives and Blue Car Syndrome, when fully understood, suggest some rather interesting, and possibly sinister, aspects about human perception. Let's take an example. Consider for a moment the anti-Semite. The anti-Semite believes that Jews rule the world. He looks around at the world around him, and, given enough ingenuity, will find evidence of Jews running the world everywhere. The Law of Fives. Robert Anton Wilson also described this as, what the thinker thinks, the prover proves. The secret of the Law of Fives is the same secret as the secret of magic, and of science, of tarot, Rorschach tests, Bible interpretation, metaprogramming, body dysmorphia, art interpretation, consciousness, poetry, palmistry, film interpretation, optimism, music appreciation, history interpretation, beauty, hermeticism, sadness, and happiness. Chew on that.